Okay, so this was James Charles' uh, his response. James Charles said, this was the update. Of course Muslim lives matter? Question mark. Ooh, be careful with that question mark. People are going to accuse you of something. Of course Muslim lives matter. This should, be, this should have been a dot here. How ridiculous to assume that I would ever think otherwise. Exactly. Okay, don't, make, don't let people assume your position just because you didn't give in to the mob. I don't read my comments often because I don't like seeing negativity, so I didn't even know about this chain. No, that's, that's the wrong answer. It could be like, I saw the chain. I mean, maybe even if you didn't see the chain, but if it doesn't, even if you did see the chain, it, does, it doesn't mean that you have to follow it. Because here's the thing. If you say, I didn't see the chain, that means that next time, if you did see the chain, that means that you have to participate. Do you know what I mean? And if that is the excuse, then now people can make you, you know, play Simon Says with you. And you have to play it every goddamn time. They could use human rights violation and anything else that r deserves attention to just use a giant platform like yours to be like, okay, now say this now. Oh, did you see this? Now say this. Now say that. Now do this. Now make a content on this. Now you're, you're the bitch. You have to do whatever they want. So... You know, so it, whether you saw the chain or not the chain, it shouldn't be the it, it shouldn't be the issue at all. So then he continues: It's crazy to assume influencers are completely aware and educated about everything going on in the world, everywhere at all times. Again, this doesn't matter, even if you are completely aware of it, even if you are completely educated. You do you, and you bring attention to whatever you want. Again, as long as you're bringing attention to anything that is important, you're already better than most people. It doesn't have to be everything. It doesn't have to be every goddamn thing that is wrong with this world. You, have, you shouldn't be expected to, fall, to bring attention to all of it, okay? Uh, duetting a 15-second video starting at the screen does literally nothing for Muslim lives. That's okay. This is a stupid response by James Charles. I'm telling you, man, everybody is stupid. It, it does, okay, so he's saying, do I think a 15 second video starting at the screen, uh, starting at the screen, sc staring at the screen, does literally nothing for Muslim lives. That's performance activism, which people love to do on social media. Uh, signing petitions and donating does, which I just did after researching more. That is stupid. You just, d okay, James is also a dumbass. Because he just proved himself wrong. Because he's saying like, oh, this 15 second video uh, doesn't do anything, literally nothing for Muslim lives. This is performance activism. Uh, what actually does help is signing petitions and donating. Well, which I just did. Well, you did because you had to go do some research in response to this 15 second duet, right? I mean, <laughs> so you're, the signing of your petition and the donating that you did was because you figured this, because you all of a sudden you, this was brought to your attention because of this duetting thing. So it worked. Don't tell me does it. Oh yeah, performance activism. Performance activism. You think you, what? It, it, what made, what do you think led to signing the petition and donating? Yeah, so uh, congratulations, you just proved yourself wrong in one sentence. Performance activism. How do you, performance activism, you think oh, a 15 second video um, literally does nothing for Muslims. Well, how else do people are supposed to bring attention to something? It's the age of social media. Social media is the loud is our speakerphones. There's literally nothing else. If you want to get people to donate or sign petitions or to pressure politicians, it's TikTok, it's Twitter, it's YouTube, it's Facebook. What else is there to do? How are you going to tell people about it? Performance activism. That's how. That's all. What else? We don't have our own TV channels or radio stations. This is all we have. And it worked. It worked on you. You're talking about it now. So again, see, I'm telling you guys, this is the channel you get for the. O this is the only sane channel that there is. Okay, everybody, everybody is wrong except us. Okay, the the people commenting are wrong. 
You don't have to give in to every single demand. You don't have to bring attention to every problem under the sun. Okay? And then James Charles is also wrong in his defense. They're like, oh, this doesn't work. This is performance activism. No, it does work. Bringing attention to things on social media and talking about it and getting more people to know about it, it does help. It does. Ha- this literally does nothing for Muslim lives. Do you know how mo- why people actually know more people now know about the eager lives now and the fact that China is um, oppressing them? It's because of social media, because people are talking about it on social media. That's how people know about it, literally. Like, do you think the activists that are desperately trying to change this, do you think that they are not appreciating the people doing... Uh, they, they were Guys, they were trying to... Be, we, we at the Atheist Republic, we were talking about this way, many years before, before... Not many years. Years before other people were talking about it. And we were desperate to get so much, so much any attention, any attention to this issue, okay? And do you think at that time we wouldn't have been grateful for somebody doing a duet on TikTok? Well, at that time there was no TikTok. But whatever, anything, anything, people talking about it, we were desperate for that at that time. Now finally people are talking about it. You think this, you think the people doing duets or whatever? Yeah, no, it helps. It does help. Please do it. And he, guess what? Most, a lot of people are not able to donate. A lot of people are struggling financially. So you have to tell them, like, hey, you're struggling financially? Do it, do it. Do whatever. Make your own video. Do it, retweet. Anything. Share this video. It helps. It does help. And you know what? When you say, like, oh, this does not help Muslim lives, uh, petitions that donating does, Signing petitions. Guess what? That's what a lot of people say about signing petitions. A lot of people say, hey, signing petition doesn't do anything. Which it does. Actually, sometimes sometimes it does. But given that signing petitions literally doesn't cost you anything, the small per- the small times that, it, like, okay, let's say petitions usually don't work. Usually they don't work. But they work, like, let's say I'm just going to make up a number. 2% of the time. 2% of the time is enough reason for us to sign petitions. It's petitions working 2%, 1%, half a percent, one tenth of a percent of the time. Given that the signing a petition doesn't cost you anything, even if it works one half of a percentage of the time that it goes viral, then why not? Let's do it. Because what else do we what else do we have to lose? Again, you don't have to sign every petition. Don't make people feel, say that you have to sign every petition. Because basically, if this is the attitude that we have right now, you could go to change.org and you can spend the rest of your life just signing petition after petition after petition. And there's like enough petitions for you to, to basically consume your entire lives. Again, so just because I'm saying something is a good idea doesn't mean that you have to do every goddamn good idea. Guys, this is the only place that I'm telling you the, is the whole world is dumb. What I'm telling you, it doesn't take a genius to figure this out, okay? It doesn't take the, what I'm saying to you is not profound wisdom, okay? This is average wisdom. This is not profound wisdom. This is average, obvious, basic logic. It's just that the entire world is moronic, so I sound very wise. I'm not very wise. I'm just average wise. I just look, I just sound like a wise guru, okay? Because everybody else is an idiot. That's how it works, okay? Again, I'm exaggerating. If you if you if you actually come in like Armin, you think everybody else is an idiot? You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot for thinking that I was just being serious. Thus I'm saying agreed this only this is only right channel among channels. I know. Good job. Yeah, I know. Okay, good job. Keep going and keep your voice. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm I'm yeah, I am. All right, hold on. Yes, hashtag Guru Armin. Exactly, exactly. So let's continue. Uh, where was this? Petitions that do anything does, which I just did. After researching more, I'm not going to do it, it now because all it does is... Gi- oh, I agree with this. I'm not going to do it now because all it does is give the people that are now canceling... me. Can- no, oh my God... Now canceling me validations, and you all will say I only do it because I got called out. Have a lovely day. Okay, so I'm glad that he didn't give in to the mob to pressure him to do this duet, but he's a moron for saying that people are canceling me. What is not canceling these days, guys? Is anybody? Let me see. Anybody is canceling me in the live chat here? 
This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Canceling me. All right. Um, maybe actually let's let's hope keep an open mind. Maybe we'll read and somebody is gonna say, well, he, they actually tried to you know report him. Or, I don't know. I don't think so. But we'll see. James highlighted main issues like people assuming TikTokers know everything going on around the world. Yeah, again, that's irrelevant. Even if he did, if he, even if he did, he didn't have to do the TikTok. And it, and the claim that James was ignoring the Muslim Lives Matter on purpose. In reality, he did not know about it. It doesn't. Okay, first of all, I could I could criticize you more for not knowing about it than not doing the duet. How could you not know that this is a thing? <laughs> like, what kind of a bubble do you live in that you don't know that the eager Muslims are like, guys? This is like, this is this is right now the eager Muslim situation in China is like the. I don't know. The, uh, it's the second most humanitarian uh, the humanitarian crisis of our like right right now right now. The top humanitarian crisis is in the world today is the, number one is the Yemen situation in Yemen, okay? Because more people are being killed over there. Uh, the second one, I think, is going to be ch the China situation, right? Like, ever since World War II, we haven't gotten closer in our lifetime to... I, I guess the communists did that as well. But this is one of the closest we have been to the situation that we had um, in the World War II. When it came to pre-Big H time, okay? I'm not going to say what Big H is. If you don't know, then you're not, you don't know. Yeah, you know, we can't say th certain things here on YouTube, okay? But this is getting very close. And, you know, for all the we, we will never forget and never again crap and remember the Big H and all that. It seems like all of that is just a joke, right? So for the, fa the fact that people don't know about this. Uh, that that is that deserves criticism, right? I mean, this I mean that deserves criticism not just for the people who haven't looked into it, but also for us because our jobs as activists is to make people know about it, right? Uh, we deserve like we should we can't just point the finger and be like, hey, how could you not know about this? Why how are you not following the news? Like how could you not know that? Oh, but no, this is our fault as well. Like why are we failing? at making the world know about this more like we need to grow faster and you know anyways but yeah i think that is that is a shame that people did not do, do not know about this like people this is going to be something that future generations are going to look back down on, upon us and go like shame they're going to be like shame 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 this is going to be an embarrassing situation for us right the fact that we the you know, rwanda thing no and nobody cared about nobody talked about it until it was too late and it became a shame to the world that they didn't talk about it when it was happening same thing was during world war ii and this is going to be the same thing for us in the future generations